If you want to test an operating system or some application, installing it within virtual machine is the right way to go. If you want to install Windows 8, you have to obtain image file for the installation. If you are wondering how to install Windows 8 onto virtual machine, keep watching this screencast. Due to large number of virtualization systems that are available on the market these days, finding the right one isn't an easy task. You will probably have to look at dozens of different systems before you find the right one. So where do you start from? This article on MSDN website is a good place to start if you're looking to install Windows 8 into a virtual environment. Although this article talks about running Windows 8 developer preview version in a virtual environment and is rather old, it is over one year old at this time, it has some interesting points and can be used as a good starting point for the installation of Windows 8 into virtual environment. VirtualBox was one of the virtualization systems that was tested at that time. Due to my experience with VirtualBox, I decided to do this screencast using VirtualBox for Windows. If you have valid TechNet or MSDN subscription, you can download Windows 8 image files from those websites. If you know which version is the right one, you can find it within the list or you can use filter to narrow down your search results. When you have found the right version, just click the download button next to it. If you do a Google search for query Download Windows 8 Enterprise Evaluation, you will find a link to MSDN website. On this page you will find many useful things and tips about this evaluation version and on the bottom of the page you will find two download links, one for the 32-bit version and one for the 64-bit version. To download evaluation version you must have Microsoft account. Depending on the web browser that you use, after you click on the continue button, either a download manager or a pop-up window will show and the download will begin. From VirtualBox website, you can download installation for this virtualization system. Now that you have installation files and you have installed VirtualBox on your host computer, you can run it and start the process of virtualization. Click the new button to launch the wizard. 
you have to give a name to your virtual machine. Select the right operating system from the drop-down list. In this step, you have to define the amount of memory that you want to give to your virtual machine. If you have an existing virtual hard disk, you can install this new operating system on it or you can create a new hard disk. If you have selected the option to create a new virtual hard disk, first you have to define what type of virtual hard disk do you want to create. You can choose between dynamically allocated or fixed sized hard disk. As you can see, each type has its own advantages and disadvantages, so be careful what you choose. Now you have to define the size and the place where you will store your virtual hard drive. If you want to, you can change the file name of your virtual hard drive. You just need to confirm the creation of your virtual machine and you're done with the wizard. Within this window, you can see some of the hardware characteristics of your new virtual machine. To install operating system, you must have image file available or installation medium. I will use image file that I've downloaded from MSDN website, that is Windows 8 Enterprise Evaluation version. If I had burned it to the CD, I could use my host drives, but since I didn't, I would select the image file, which is located on my desktop. Now that I'm done with this part of setup, I can finally start the installation of my new virtual machine. I will click the start icon in toolbar. During the installation, VirtualBox will probably show you few dialog boxes like this one. Read them carefully. Windows 8 installation process is a lot alike Windows 7 installation process. So if you're familiar with that one, this should be a rather easy installation. First you have to accept license agreement. Then you have to select the hard drive. You can see the size of it, it's 25 gigabytes as we have defined earlier. The speed of your computer defines the time that is needed to complete the installation and so I will take now this installation into the warp speed and here it is, Windows 8 within VirtualBox. You can now explore all the new features of this operating system. When you're done with all the work within your virtual computer, you have to shut it down. If you want to, you can contact me either through Twitter or through my website.